hand over and just grab the hand like that and let it drop. Now, if you do not have the hang time on your swing, it's going to suck. You're going to miss the kettle. And you're going to fumble and turn to drop, turn to catch, okay? The only time you can transfer hands in the kettlebell is when it's floating in the air. There's no, there's no push, no pull, nothing. It's already, it's already, you've already bled out your hips. This is command and control, grab and turn it over. Okay, so it's going to be thumb back, stand up, and just rotate your hand over. You have to turn the kettlebell in the air, your hand grabs it, turn back over to the other side. Okay, now, the other way is hand over hand. So you come up, okay, here, and you just grab on the other side. Go back down, come back up, grab the other side. You decide which one's the best for you, okay? Most people do better with the, the hand the hand to hand, the palm to palm on this one. So get kind of, they, they start doing like this and grab like that. Now, on here, don't kill the floor. That's all I have to say, okay? Just, you, you, you want to make sure you've got to have a, you gotta have a stable swing. You, your swing has to be there. You've got to have the point where it's floating before you, you can change hands. Now, the only reason I have you guys change hands is, so when you start doing like high reps, swings, or snatches, or cleans, you've got to have a fast way to change hands. Okay, and this is an easy way to do without putting the kettle down. Okay, so from here, here's the palm to palm. It's, it's floating. And the only time I'm really grabbing it, my hand's relaxed at the top. It's not grabbing the bottom. Okay, it looks easy out here. Yeah. <laughs>